Alrighty. Here we are once again. And uh, it's been about a year since I've made a video. Uh, there's reason for that. I've, I've fell into some ill health for the past, about a year, past year or so. And uh, I'm just now getting well enough to get back into it. So having said that, what I'm going to do is start working my strategy. Uh, you can see down here in the bottom uh, left corner, my balance is $500. I just deposited that. And uh, this video is going to be the first of many utilizing that $500. And we'll see how it goes. My goal is to turn it into a thousand within a week or two. But we'll see. Right now, I'm betting on the dozens. Uh, I have uh, 13 and 22 are both in the second dozen. They're also in the first column, so I should have bet on the second and third column at the same time, but I didn't notice that till just now. Um, so I have two, the last two hits have been in the second dozen, so I bet on the first and third dozen, hoping that that trend will break and I will get a win. What do we have here? Seven red, and there you go, I won. And it also happens to be in the first column as well. So that's three times in a row now that the first column has hit. And because of that, I'm going to make a slightly larger bet and bet on the second and third column uh, with the goal of breaking that three, that three hit trend on the first column. Uh, this has been my strategy. Now, I've been practicing for a couple days now with that $500. At one point, I was up $250. Uh, this strategy works really well. And um, with very few uh, losses, occasionally I, uh, I'll hit a streak that it will run long, and I don't follow through, so I end up losing about $80, $90. But you always get it back in the end. You know, you just play an extra half hour and I get the money back. So it's all good. And um, here you see another win. I'm already up $3. And just since I started this video, and that was a 27. So I'm going to bet on the first and second dozen because the third dozen just hit. Now, this is just a small bet just to... Uh, Keep uh, keep myself in the game, so to speak. And it's small enough that if I lost this bet, I could martingale this and recover my losses. Now, when you're playing the dozens and columns, martingaling means you have to triple your bet, not just double it like you do on the uh, red and black, even and odd and high and low. And I'm not crazy about that. I've lost money doing that. And so I try to avoid doing it at all. And, um, but since my bets are so small, what I do is I can martingale it for the first two, sometimes three, uh, three uh, losses. Like this one now. See, now my bet's only three and three, which is still a pretty small bet, even considering my bankroll. So I'm going to go ahead and play that out. And typically, typically, not all the time, but typically, I get a win within the first two, occasionally three. And of course, the more, you know, when it gets to four or five, well, those become more and more rare the higher they go. So typically these things resolve within the first two, sometimes three uh, bets. And there you go, eight. That's a winner. So eight, 
28. They're in separate columns, separate dozens. So I'm just going to bet on the uh, second and third dozen. Just again, just a small bet in case I have to Martindale. Because now if, if this dozen, if either one of these dozens had hit two or three times, I'd be betting slightly larger. But because not, neither of them have hit, because the first dozen has only hit one time, you know, I, I don't want to bet very large. I want to keep my bet as small. Not, I mean, I could go even smaller, but it just, at that point, it becomes ridiculously small. And it's, it's you know, 50 cents when you win. It's hardly worth your time. So my minimum bet, my starting bet, is a dollar until I get to a certain point. Once my bankroll has increased, I'll begin uh, increasing my starting minimum bet. And you see, see how easy that is. And look at that, that's a 26. Now 26 and eight are both in the second column. Eight was the previous winning number. 26 was this winning number. So I'm gonna bet on columns one and three because column two has just hit twice in a row. This lady right here, I was playing a couple days ago, about day, about day before yesterday, I think it was, and she spun 18 black in a row, and I lost $300 chasing the red. So I'm not gonna do that anymore, but look at this. Here she is again with eight out of the last 10 being black. There's definitely something about this lady's karma. <laughs> She's got some dark shit going on outside of work. <laughs> and look, there it is again, four. But at least I won the bet, so. You can count on it being black, that's for sure. Maybe I should bet on black, just for the hell of it and see what happens but I don't want to get caught in a damn chasing a dragon, trying to get a red when, when it's all black. So I'm not going to do it. I'm going to stick with the, uh, the highest odds in my favor bets, which is the two out of three chance of winning every bet when I'm betting on the dozens like I have been. You can see already I'm up, what, um, $6 just since I started making this video. I'm already up 6 bucks in what, like less than 10 minutes. So let's see what we get here. Mm -hmm. Twenty eight black. 28 and 4 are the last two winning numbers, and they just happen to be both in the first column. So, I will bet on the second and third column. Because we have already an opportunity here where where that first column is hit twice and the likelihood of it hitting again and again and again goes down the more obviously the more it happens so let's see what happens here see what we get yeah earlier I mentioned that I have been dealing with a health issue and yeah, it is. It is cancer. Um, I've done chemo and radiation. I'm still doing chemo, as a matter of fact. Look at that, black again. This chick is just all black all the time. Um, I had major back surgery because I had a tumor that was actually inside my spinal column. So that took me a while to recover from that. And... Um, I don't know if you can tell by my face, but I've lost a boatload of weight. I used to weigh 
about 225 pounds. I'm six foot four, 225. And at one time I was, uh, I was as low as 135 pounds. I'm at 150 now and gaining remarkably. So uh, that's what's giving me the energy to keep up and do things and, and start up the, the uh, start the channel back up and uh, and do some more online gambling. Hopefully, get some views and have some fun. Nine, and it's a red one. What do you know? And it's also a winner for me. And nine and twenty-four were the last two spins, both in the third column. So I will take advantage of that and I will bet on the first and second column. And um, see how it turns out. Let's see how many spins out of the last 10 have been black here. Uh, seven out of the last 10 have been black. This, this chick, yeah, next time I see her come on, I might have to play black. Just because there's, with her, it's just always black. <laughs> you know, it's funny that the different dealers, and, you know, there are people who say it doesn't matter, it's all random, but it, it really does. Oh, look at there, six black. What do you know? Okay, I lost that bet. But so, yeah, certain dealers, I think, really have a big effect on the outcome of uh, of the spinning that they're doing. Like, if, I mean, this one's a perfect example. Every time I've seen her so far, it's like it's almost all black. Oh, damn, I missed that. Six and nine are both in the first dozen. I could have bet on the second and third dozen as well as the first and second column. I could have had what I call a double whammy. I love double whammies because it covers all but five numbers on the whole board. And typically you win those in the first shot. So they're a lot of fun and I just missed that opportunity. That's because I'm video recording and not paying attention as much as I should be. You know, it's something Christopher Mitchell talks about a lot. About how uh, when you're making a video and recording, you miss opportunities. And there you go. I won 35 black, again black. And the third dozen, nothing in common with the six. So I will bet on the first and second dozen. because the third doesn't just hit. And I mean, you can see, I'm already up 10 bucks. You know, I'm at $510. Um, in the first, what have I been doing this now? About 12, 13 minutes, 12 minutes. And eventually I'll get to where I have seven, 800, $900 in my bankroll and I'll start making $2 starting bets and then $5 starting bets. And I'll be able to you know, bang out a hundred bucks in 30 minutes, maybe two or three times a day even. And then I'll find out if it's true that they kick you out of here when you win too much. <laughs> okay, there's a loss, uh, hit third dozen. 32 and 35 also are both in the same column. So guess what I get to do there? Because 32 and 35 are both in the second column, I'm gonna bet on the first and third column. So now I have what I call a double whammy. It's an opportunity to win twice on one shot, on one spin. I like this dealer. I mean, you know, she's fairly easy on the eyes, but it's the thing with the black. It's just makes me wonder about what's going on in her life. <laughs> yeah, there's some definitely dark karma going on there. 
So what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? All right, 30. And that is a partial winner. Uh, now I have to go to, on the first and second dozen, I'm going to go to, if I triple that, it's going to be 9 and 9. So I'm just going to go 10 and 10. And I always put it back to the 50 cent bet because when I make my next bet, if I don't switch it back, I might forget. And the next thing you know, I've made a big bet on something that should have been a small bet. And if I lose that bet, then I'm in big trouble. And I've had that happen before, where I've actually, well, it happened just the other day. I ended up betting 100 and 100 on, on uh, a couple, and I meant to bet 60 and 60. Don't ask me how it happened. I looked over and it was 100 and 100 and it was too late to change it. And of course I lost. You know, when you get those breaks, when, when things like that happen, Murphy's Law says you're never going to get it back. You're never going to win. That's never going to happen in your favor. So, of course, I lost it. Whoa, almost hit the green zero, 15. There's a win. Now, because I increased that bet from nine, instead of 9 and 9 to 10 and 10, I got an extra dollar. So that's great. And 15 and 30 are both in the third column. So I get to bet on the second, uh, the first and second column because of the opportunity presented here by the 15 and the 30. Sometimes just talking too much wears me out, makes me tired. Oh, and there's the zero. Damn it. Has to happen, right? I mean, it's there for a reason. So sooner or later, it's going to hit. And there it is. Rebet, double, and let's triple. Now, I'm not going to make a very long video here. Um, I guess I'll see if I can get to 515 before I cut this video off. I'll tell you what, I'll stop the video when they switch dealers. How about that? And we'll see how much I made in that amount of time. Because um, I don't want to make too long of a video. I know they get boring. People get tired of watching, just, you know, watching somebody else do this shit. So I know as a person who watches a lot of this myself and studies, you know, for the past several years, I've been watching, and studying different techniques, what have you. Nine. Here's another loss. Okay. So anyway, yeah, I'm not going to make too long of a video. So instead of going to nine and nine, we'll just do 10 and 10. Now, if I lose this bet, I'm not going to triple the 10 and 10. What I'll do at that point is I'll bet 10 and 10 again, and I will double it. I will add 10 and 10. So what this means is I won't, I will end up losing money. But at the same time, if I keep tripling this bet and it goes two or even three more times, that could wipe out your, you know, a very large chunk of your bankroll all in one shot. And so to prevent that, I, I stop tripling my bets at this level. This is where I draw the line on tripling and I just go ahead and I eat the loss. And there you go, got the win. Now I broke even on that. No, actually I didn't. I did make a few dollars on that. Look at that. Yeah, I made, uh, okay, I'm at 515 now. I started, remember, I started at 500 even just a bit ago. 10 and 9 are both in the first dozen. So I will bet on the second and third dozen. But you see how this system works. It's really easy. And it really seems to work pretty well.
you'll have to forgive me trying to clean my mouth. I just ate some Fritos corn chips. And they get all up in your gums and everything. It's a little uncomfortable. Especially when you're on chemotherapy because chemotherapy makes your gums really sensitive. Oh, look at there. I lost 11. 11, 10, and 9, all in the same dozen. So now I'm going to rebet and double and triple. So that's three times in a row. The first dozen is hit. Now to break that trend, I'm going to bet on the second and third dozen. Not that that breaks the trend, but the trend should break on this or the next spin. Sometimes I actually kind of hope it goes to four because when I get to the $10 level, I've actually increased my bet. So I end up winning more. Which makes it nice. Everybody likes winning more, right? And when you get to like five in a row in the same dozen or column, you know, you know it's going to break. So go ahead and go for it. There's 36. That's a winner. Winner for me. All right. Now they're switching dealers about a minute or two too early. But I told myself when they switched dealers is when I would end the video. So look at there. $516 that I made. Uh, the $16 I made just since I started this video. And it's only been, what, 20 minutes tops? Not even if that. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I'm not done for the day. I'm certainly going to come back and play some more later on. I'm just not going to bore you people with a really long video that just goes on and on and on till I hit $100 for the day, which I easily can do. I've done it, uh, I've done it twice last week. I hit $100 on uh, Monday and $100 again on Tuesday. But then I made a silly bet on red and black and chased the dragon and got burned. Anyway, all that aside, this system betting on the dozens and columns, it's really easy. It's really safe. And as you can see, it's a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, so I'm out of here. You all have a pleasant afternoon.